All right, we're back here for round seven of the challenge. I lost the humans last round, which likely crushes my top eight goals. Um, but but we can still top 16. Top 16 still makes a pretty good prize. I think it's like three, 300 play points and 10 treasure chests, which is pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Give me some tickets to burn. But here we go. Okay, I would like to respond. I've played against this guy before. I don't know what they're doing now. All right, discard spell. So if, we're, if we need to be linear, we can be linear. Because we can bolt ourselves, get our Death Shadow into play on two. That's not even, doesn't even matter what we're drawing. This hand's pretty good against everything. Like, it's got a discard spell and a threat. We don't, definitely don't want any more lands. Opponent's nice. It's a GLHF. So let's start off with a Blood Crit. And let's hit a discard spell. Okay. This is going to be tough. What if we have a moment of truth next turn where we think, we wonder, we ask ourselves if we can get in underneath this? So I can go get steam vents. Do we steam vents, bolt myself, play Death Shadow? I think that's probably what I have to do. I think I just have to go like full linear here. I can't just not do any on this turn. If I had anything else to do, I'd do it. But I just like just too anemic. And it's going to let us get Gurmag Angler down next turn also. And then we can potentially dismember our Death Shadow. And if we draw like, I don't know, something. Hopefully I didn't find a path. They put two cards on the bottom. Yeah, we couldn't we can't afford any more of that. Cause now we can't even dismember our death shadow. He went on the bottom. Okay, hollow fountain they drew. There's Pump Fate. And then we're just, we're not playing around anything. Because we can't. Now either creature is lethal. We're just going to really hope we don't get Supreme Verdicted. And we have enough reach in the deck. And we got two, we have three bolts, we have two bolts and two, we just have two bolts actually. So there's actually not a lot of reach. The K commands are in the sideboard. Jeez. What a beating. I was hoping they were going to use more mana for that. Yep. Any order. That likely cooks us. Like, we just had to go fast. Well, at least we can Thought Seize a Jace. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a lot going on. They have a cryptic command, which hopefully we can figure out somehow. I don't think I'm going to cast that Death Shadow until I have a way to protect it. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, Phil's he's taking a nap now. He pooped this morning. Which I was pumped about. That second colonnade is not good for the home team. Nice. Oh no way! You're gonna you're gonna cryptic command this. Okay. All 
All right, I'm just going to... That seems like such an aggressive, aggressive cryptic command, unless you have a follow-up. But if the follow-up is just like animate colonnade and attack, wow. Okay. All right, this is that makes more sense. So they have flooded strand, flooded strand, which I doubt they'll crack. Okay, so they just hit an ancestral vision. Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing a logic knot. Logic knot is not good. Logic knot might just kill me. Opt, okay. Yeah, that logic knot might kill me unless I find a stub or a fatal push off of this draw. Because they can go one, two, three, four, five, animate. I just have to do it before combat, I guess. Unless they play a fetch land. Because, right, they take five here. Then they've got the colonnade plus another colonnade. And they can play their fetch land. So if I draw lightning bolt, then I also can get it here. So they keep this on top. I've got like, they keep this on top. I've got seven draws. I put it on top. Okay. That is not one of them. I'm just going to pause here. Just to let them think. Then before combat, I'm going to dismember this. Inside of combat. And then just leave this little red mana up. Yep. All oh, that logic knot was gas. Yep. They got it. Draw a card with a fatal push right there. Okay. All right. So I like the last hope. I like the K commands. The spell bomb is like medium. I want these cards here. I don't want Dismember. I don't want Battle Rage. I'm going to cut an Angler. Uh, Lightning Bolt comes out as well. And I like to shave a street raids because the games go long. And I don't think I want my fatal pushes because if they if I like if I can keep Jace off the board, then they have a difficult time killing me because if I have answer their colonnade.
All right, I'll lead off here. Uh, I don't think I can mulligan this hand, but I need like I need something. I need like one more card to have this hand be good. If I can find a way to get my Death Shadow into play, this hand's very good. Or if I get like a I hit like a I don't know a Thought Scour, it's pretty good. Cause then we can get nasty down. This is a tough matchup. Tough matchup for the home team. I'm just gonna leave my land there. All right, now we're off to the race. So I wouldn't buy another land. So I'm gonna cycle this right now. Yes. And I think I get both of them in here. My opponent, if my opponent wants to path one of them, they can just wait until their turn to do it. So I did this against a blue-white control deck one time when I was playing um, playing the modern challenge. And they blessed lines me. Just made me gain four life, killed both my shadows. I was just like, this game is way over. Now the reason I fetched double um, double watery grave is that if they have spreading seas, they don't like nothing happens, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if it does. But like they don't they don't get to cut me off of anything. If we untap into a fetch land, we're in pretty good shape. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus Christ. And now it just all comes tumbling down. Son of a bitch, dude. Why are you playing shitty cards like this? Like, right, this card can't be very good. Second from the top, they gained three life. Oh my god, what savagery. And there's the fucking Death Shadow. That's better than the. <laughs> I literally just said it, too. Okay, I guess it's good. I guess I'm just being negative because that was just like the most savage blowout of all time. I really just jam a Jace. Like, just g give me, give me something here. God, this is so bad. Yeah, dude, get play your Snapcaster Mage and start like hitting me. I want to get this Death Shadow into play. I could stub this off, but I'm not sure that's worth it. Though I have so many cards in hand that I can't take it home with me, so I am just going to stub this. Bears have so many resources that I just need to use them, and it fills my graveyard up to help me delve. They might just jam a Teferi. I don't know. They might think like, oh, he uses he used it, you know. I guess I'm just gonna get this cryptic commanded. I could have I could have like put my Snapcaster Mage in to block his. God, son of a bitch. Alright, to fair. Oh, that's so backbreaking. And they know I have a death shadow too.
All right. All right. Back for the next round.